Just a potter in his cockpit seated. Black leather on his ass, keep a hustler heated. Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. So we are continuing the uh, garage project. And a few people mentioned um, mosquitoes, but there aren't any mosquitoes. Well, there might be right now. I Actually, I don't see any, but there's typically tadpoles in here. And there's also running water. Like, uh, I mean, obviously there's a pump and everything. And it runs a lot of water, so no, no mosquitoes. I do want to clean this out. That's why I left it off and didn't fill it back up. Because I want to just clean it a little bit because it looks like crap. And luckily today it's not all that humid. All right, we're back in the garage and it looks a lot better, but it looks worse than I really thought it was. Look at the two lovely cars. Hopefully with any luck by maybe the end of the day, one of them will be in here. Here's my dehumidifier. This one's been in the garage for a while, so it's all dirty. I'm gonna have to clean it out and I'll show you guys a technique that I developed to do that, which is actually kind of cool. You can see it's full of water. And I had to show you guys this. When I was carrying it over here, apparently this disgusting looking water poured from it. So, I mean, this is the one I had running in the running out here like immediately after the hurricane and it ran for months so I'm sure it's really dirty so okay I gotta get this clean no big deal then I just gotta clean the insides and the passages you can see this thing is like totally gross but I have a new one that needs to get clean too I'll go clean the filter first it's just washable Okay, so I cleaned the filter. You can see it's nice and spotless, it's wet, but that'll be fine. So now we have the problem of all the passageways and everything in there are super filthy dirty because the water that these things output, now imagine anyone who lives in like a more dry climate probably really doesn't use these because I, I used to live in California. So a dehumidifier was unheard of. People ran humidifiers as a matter of fact. So it actually puts out a lot of water. I think this one's like a 90 pint or something like that. I don't know, I'll look up the specs, but there's actually a lot more than you would think. And um, we'll test that. But let me show you how I'm gonna clean this. One. This is actually the tool that I use to clean it. Um, this is just a water pick. It's an old water pick that I had. And um, I realized that this thing you can actually use it to clean a lot of stuff because it does a high pressure jet of water so you can like funnel it inside of stuff and it actually puts out a lot of water pressure and it, it's enough to clean things and I had another one inside that was getting clogged due to all the, the junk and um, I cleaned it out and it's been f perfect since good thing here and then I have a gallon of hot water that I just poured so we're going to go to town on this thing So that's all good. Just gonna put the fan on it for like an hour to let everything dry out. Okay, I think that is dry enough most of the water evaporated this thing still has some water in it but that's good so now I actually want to clean the outside of it because it just looks like hell all right got it all cleaned up all put together the filters in it so the next step is gonna be this so this is a just a dehumidifier drain hose I just bought a new one because the old one was gross and it's 12 feet so it should be plenty to reach out there 
But first I'm just gonna set it up in here and just drain it into that bucket just to verify it all works while I clean the pond. Okay, so I'm looking for a way to, this is obviously temporary, I gotta find a way to get it up elevated, but that's not an issue for this moment. I'm not sure if it's gonna be high enough for this, but uh, we're gonna give it a shot. It definitely looks higher than that, but not by a, a whole bunch. But we'll see what happens. Okay, so it says 90 degrees in here. It actually says it's only 51% humidity, which I think is wrong. I know it's wrong, it's way higher than 50%. But well, let's see how this works. The compressor hasn't even kicked on yet. Hopefully it'll drain in there. And obviously it has to be somewhat sealed in here for it to work. So yeah, 91 degrees and 47% humidity. Let me make sure the hose doesn't have any kinks. All right, we'll try back later and see how much water we got. All right, checking it. It looks like we got nothing. I don't know if the hose is too, isn't high enough or what. Maybe it's this kind of stuff. Kind of kinked a little bit. Yeah, you know, I'm just gonna leave this on the floor because I don't know if that's too high for it. We'll see what this does. Okay, it looks like we're in action. It's produced a good little splash of water. It's not as humid today as it has been. It might only be like 50 or 60%, so that's probably why. I'm trying to think of the best way to clean this thing. I'm going to try to take the water out of it. Wouldn't you love to just take this under a microscope and see all the life that's in there? Oh look, there's tadpoles. You see them? Okay, since there is tadpoles in there, you can see some of them like you see a little tadpole right there. That's why I was saying there's no mosquitoes because this isn't, there's no mosquitoes here. Not here, but in the pond there's not mosquitoes. First of all, the tadpoles eat them if they do land there, and usually there's a pump running, which uh, mosquitoes need still water, not running water. So let me just see if I can get some of the junk out of this. Okay, it's at least a lot better than it was. Yeah, not sure if this is coming out good on the camera, but you see a lot of little tadpoles. So shortly we'll have frogs all over and my kids absolutely love them. So I'm not gonna do anything that's gonna jeopardize that. Now what is that? Is that a... Dude, check that out. I'm not sure how else is coming in, but it's like a spider that Can like walk on water. Whoa, walked on that too. Ah, it walked quick. Here's another one of those spider things. Whoa, it jumped. Oh, there's two of them right there. Anyone have any idea what kind of spiders these are? They are quick. See, look at that. They just like walk on the water, that is amazing. All right, so we're making good water here, we're doing good, and I think that's because I opened the garage door. Because it was actually cutting down the humidity in here. Like for example, look at all the water that was over here, and it's all gone now, or mostly gone. Okay, I'm just gonna try putting it here 
and I'm hoping that I can just keep it higher than that or lo lower than that level which I think I mean I know the outside is lower than the garage now I don't know about keeping the pond full but it can definitely do something ah the internals of how it works oh no I'm not putting my hand in there that's gross so I'm gonna see if I can just shove this through here because I need it to stay low and I got it out right here and I just want it to go straight down so this has got some slack on it and I can even bury it think I should keep these all rusted? No way. I'll need a tetanus shot if I use these. Oh my God, that all looks pretty smooth. Transition wise, I just want to make sure this is in a position where it's not going to kink. I think it looks gross. And I just try to press this against the ground so it mixes up all the sediment in here. Oh, a huge one of those spiders. Is that a brown recluse? That is a big spider. The water looks gross right now, but it'll fill up and be good. Okay, now this is full enough to turn on the pump which it's usually on all the time I just turned it off because the level got too low so I'm gonna let that fill until it overflows and watch after it overflows for a while you'll see it's a lot cleaner it like kind of skims it and really the only way to know if this is actually doing anything is um the bucket will fill up if it's not so We'll find out. I mean, if it's not flowing out of the, the hose, the bucket will just fill up and then it'll turn off. If it is flowing out of the hose, then it won't. So that's going to be our, our test. Now we're going to get going cleaning the rest of this garage. And I tried to call the police for this ammo and they sw switched me and then it went to voicemail. So I'm going to try again later on. So you see how it looks now? Ooh. Oh, there's water everywhere. It's all clean and then it's still flowing so I use this to mix up the sediment a little bit more and I hope all my tadpoles survive. And it feels drier in here already. Yep, only 35%. I'm not sure how, how it's going to help with the pond but at least it's going somewhere. I mean there's no drain in the garage so the water is going somewhere and not just staying here. So. It's a win, even if it doesn't keep the thing completely full, which I'm not sure if it will or not, but it'll do something. At least it's not being wasted. It's uh, eco-friendly.
So check this out. This is time slip from 2001. And this was my very first car, which was a 97 Nissan pickup. And I think this is actually the fastest I got it to go. It was running 19s when I first got it. So it was just a 97 Nissan pickup automatic with a little 2.4 KA. And it was running 18s. But I still took it to the track all the time. Because racing isn't just about going fast and, and winning. It's about racing too. And you can really have fun in, in just about anything. So I just say to everybody, you don't have to have a super fast car to go and have fun. It was 2001, so it was, what is that, 16 years ago? I was 20 or 19. probably gonna stop for a few minutes because it's getting hot I was gonna put this up until I realized it got flooded what this is oh and it looks like it's sealed so it didn't this is a uh, plastic sheeting now this is for um, really what I got it for is uh, for emergency it's one of the things that they recommend that you have in case there's like fallout or other reasons why you have to shelter in place, you can put that over the windows and like secure, like uh, seal up a room a little bit to try to limit your exposure. Exposure. I'm a little bit of a doomsday prepper, as you probably could imagine. So, got some weird stuff because of that. So the only downside of having this guy in here, it produces heat, which I don't think it's going to be. It's negligible, but it's also kind of loud. So I got a spot right here cleared out. So now I'm gonna take the tires and put them over there. Oh, probably should use two hands for this. All right, I think I made some pretty good progress. Just a few more things to move. Then I can clear out this side a little bit. Then we'll be in good shape. But right now I'm just way too hot. I gotta get out of here. Oh, and the other thing I've I'm putting stuff out here that I want to throw away, but I don't know how exactly. And this is off now. So this is what we're left with. You can actually see through the bottom. I'm not sure if it's coming out in the camera, but you can see through to the bottom now. Looks a lot, lot better. All right, back out here again. I don't have all that much more to go. So let's get to getting. Okay, so you see the progress we've made here. It's quite a bit. <clears throat> now I just gotta move some of this stuff out of the driveway portion and then uh, then we'll be good. But I, yeah, I got yeah, I got more to do than I felt like I did. Not sure when the camera died, but 
Got a little bit more sweeping done and stuff. I'm gonna put those bullets into this box because I don't think this box is gonna handle it. Those bullets are so old that I bought them when I was in California. Now if you're in California, you can't even buy bullets without a background check. How stupid is that? Oh, now it's the easy part, but the hard part is just moving things out of the way like this long thing. I gotta figure out the best place to put that. Seems pretty secure, huh? Look at that. I think if it fell down this way, it would just hit this board. So it should be somewhat safe. Okay, so this is the somewhat of the moment of truth. And look how my wife parks her car. She's trying to avoid mine, but it uh, looks like there's room for it. Maybe this stuff needs to move so she can open her door e more easily. I was just going to do it, but I know my wife would want to be part of this momentous occasion. Alright, so this obviously needs to move because it's in the way, which isn't a big deal. Well, there we go. Look at this. This is a, a first. There's a first for everything. This is the moment that nobody thought they would ever see. And now for the real success. He's actually closing the door. Now I gotta throw these things away. So those will be out of the way. And then, I mean obviously a, a lot more, oh man, it's heavy. Cleanup effort needs to go on in here. But I think we're off to a good start. I mean, I threw away a lot of stuff. I didn't just move it around. But there's still more of that paint. And the, the people who did the house before, they like left a bunch of paint and I didn't really know what to do with it. So I just kept it all and I'm tired of having it now. But there we go, her car in the garage. This was a long time coming and uh, very exciting. And I'm super hot, super tired, but I did it. Peace. Hustler heated, weed is engaging the pavement. Rubber escorts like I'm seeking arrangements.